Winston Churchill was born into a prominent family in England and had a privileged upbringing. His father was a prominent politician and his mother was American. Churchill was educated at several prestigious schools, including Harrow and the Royal Military College at Sandhurst, where he graduated in 1895. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the 4th Hussars, a cavalry regiment of the British Army. In 1899, Churchill resigned from the army to become a war correspondent covering the Boer War in South Africa. He was captured by the Boers but managed to escape and continued to report on the war. Churchill returned to England and ran for Parliament in 1900, representing the Conservative Party in Oldham. He served as MP for Oldham until 1906. In 1910, Churchill was appointed Home Secretary in the Conservative government. He was responsible for overseeing the police and the internal security of the country. In 1911, Churchill was appointed First Lord of the Admiralty and was responsible for leading Britain's naval forces during World War I. He was heavily involved in the planning of the disastrous Gallipoli campaign. After the failure of the Gallipoli campaign, Churchill resigned from the government and rejoined the army, serving on the Western Front. Churchill returned to the government in 1917 as Minister of Munitions and was later appointed Secretary of State for War and Air in 1919. Churchill became Prime Minister of the United Kingdom on May 10, 1940, at a time when the country was facing its greatest crisis during World War II. Churchill led Britain through some of its greatest challenges during World War II, including the Battle of Britain, which was a critical turning point in the war. Churchill is famous for his speeches, including, We Shall Fight on the Beaches, and, Never Surrender, which helped to inspire the British people during the darkest days of World War II. Churchill worked closely with US President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Soviet leader Joseph Stalin to defeat Nazi Germany. Churchill's leadership played a crucial role in securing victory for the Allies in World War II. After the war, Churchill led the Conservative Party in the general election of 1945, but he lost to the Labour Party. He became Prime Minister again from 1951 to 1955. Churchill was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1953 for his writings and speeches. He was the first person to receive the prize for his work as a political leader. Churchill played a significant role in the creation of the United Nations, an international organization aimed at promoting peace and cooperation among nations. He was widely recognized for his efforts to establish this organization. Churchill is best known for his Iron Curtain speech, which he delivered in Fulton, Missouri in 1946. In this speech, Churchill warned of the growing threat posed by Soviet expansion and called for a strong response from the Western world. Churchill was also a champion of social welfare, and during his time as Prime Minister, he pursued policies aimed at improving the lives of the British people. One of the most notable achievements of his government was the creation of the National Health Service, which provided free medical care to all citizens. Churchill retired as Prime Minister in 1955 but remained a member of Parliament until 1964. He continued to play an active role in public life, speaking out on important issues and participating in debates in Parliament. Churchill died on January 24, 1965, in London, England at the age of 90. He was widely mourned as one of the greatest leaders of the 20th century, and his legacy continues to inspire people around the world to this day.